here in this problem, they would like us to convert from wavelength to frequency. They give us information about green plants and how they absorb uh, sunlight to power photosynthesis. They say that the compound responsible for light absor absorption in the color of plants, chlorophyll, strongly absorbs light with a wavelength of 662 nanometers. Calculate the frequency of this light. Well, first thing that we are going to use is this equation here. Wavelength times frequency is equal to this constant, and C is the speed of light in vacuum, 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. We are given a wavelength of 662 nanometers, and we need to find the frequency. Well, off the bat, I know that I can do this by rearranging this equation to solve for nu. So frequency is going to be equal to the speed of light divided by wavelength. But there's a problem. I need the units to cancel out. The units for the speed of light are meters per second. The units for the given wavelength are nanometers. So I need to convert this from nanometers to meters. So 662 nanometers, if I use dimensional analysis to convert that, then one nanometer is equal to 10 to the minus nine meters. So that will give me a very small number of 6.62 times 10 to the minus seven meters. My units here cancel out. So now that I have this value converted to meters, I can plug it straight into this formula, where the frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. The frequency is equal to 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by the wavelength, which is 6.62 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Look at my units. This is exactly why we had to convert. Meters cancels out, and the units that I'm left with is going to be inverse seconds. I could also write this as seconds to the minus 1, or even as hertz. Is this, or this, or this, a unit of frequency? Absolutely. So I know that I've set this up correctly. So the only thing left to do now is the math. So when I do the math, I end up with 4.5287 times 10 to the 14. Now, I need to also check how many significant digits I need to round my final answer to. My initial measured value is three significant digits, 662 with a decimal place, nanometers. So I take my calculator answer here and round it to three significant digits as well. One, two, three. So my final answer will be 4.53 times 10 to the 14 hertz. The good thing about these problems that use formulas is that once you've solved for one variable, right here we solved for frequency, you can take that variable, this value, and I can plug it back in to my original formula. So if this is the frequency that we found, 4.53 times 10 to the 14, I can plug it in here and multiply it by the given wavelength with the appropriate units and see if I get 2.998 times 10 to the 8 for the speed of light. So you can essentially check your math by taking your answer that you get and plugging it back into the original formula to check your work.